good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're listening to me right now. My name is Agbache Onome. Welcome to another show on Nebo TV. Today I have a news from the United States of America about the new directive from Joe Biden. The United States President Joe Biden has directed American Embassy in Nigeria and other countries to push for the legislation of homosexuality in their respective countries of residence. Joe Biden gave the directive in a White House statement on memorandum on advancing the human rights of lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgender, intersex persons around the world. The United States President said the memorandum reaffirms and supplements the principles established in the Presidential Memorandum of December 6, 2011, International Initiatives to Advance the Human Rights of Lesbians, Gays, Bisexuals and Transgender Persons. Biden said in the memorandum, it shall be the policy of the United States to pursue an end to violence and discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, or sex characteristics, and to lead by the power of example in the course of advancing the human rights of these persons. Biden said the memorandum calls for swift and meaningful United States response to human rights abuses of lesbians, gays, bisexual persons abroad. In my previous show, I talked about how President Joe Biden struck a new tone in U.S.-Africa relations, recording a video message which promotes a shared vision and more trade and investment, peace and security for all Africans, a commitment to democratic institutions, and the promotion of human rights for all, including women and girls and the gay community. According to Joe Biden, one of the countries with a restriction against the legislation of lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgender, intersex persons globally is Nigeria, with a law prohibiting their act. Biden then placed a sanction on countries that refuses to implement these policies. The sanction includes using the full range of diplomatic and assistance tools as appropriate, financial sanctions, visa restrictions, and other actions. In Nigeria, the Same-Sex Marriage Prohibition Act, signed into law in 2014 by former President Goodluck Ibele Jonathan, was enacted on the premise that Nigerian culture is antithetical to homosexuality. Also, because of the population of the country, which is largely divided between Christians and Muslims, there was also a religious urgency to the prohibition. Persons of the lesbian, bisexual, homosexual community risk up to 10 to 14 years in jail term in Nigeria. However, Amnesty International said the prohibition by the government exposes persons of this community in the country to harm and called for a reversal of the law. The U.S. President Joe Biden shared the same sentiment in the memorandum. All humans should be treated with respect and dignity and should be able to live without fear no matter who they are or whom they love, Joe Biden said. But the question here is, why is the United States of America really concerned about other countries implementing this law? Presently, Nigerians are not keeping quiet about this, this policy because Nigeria is a sovereignty nation and our sovereignty should be respected. We should decide what we want and nations should respect the decision. Nigerians have started reacting to the memorandum signed by the United States of America aimed at expanding the protection of um, human rights of lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgender, and the host of others. Nigerians have taken to social media to condemn this decision, especially with predictions that this might affect the visa ban on migrants from such country to the U.S. On Twitter, so many users are asking why the U.S. is so obsessed with other countries' sexuality. Another user opened that gay rights in Nigeria will affect the system due to the existence of peer pressure. Imagine having to raise a child in an environment filled with media propaganda on how cool someone is being a gay. 
We know that Nigeria is seriously affected by the problem of peer pressure. It won't be an argument of being born gay. It will be about people being manipulated to become gays. Another user said the US government is just about to lose their respect if they try to force other countries into buying their homosexuality policy, noting that even Biden wouldn't be alive today if his parents were gay. Other users believe that there are other weighter issues than imposing policies that encourages gay rights in Nigeria. This is actually a good point because there are other issues in Nigeria, serious ones, that need to be worked on. The US is fully aware of the insecurity issues in Nigeria. If they are so concerned about the rights of citizens, why not help Nigeria to strengthen security? The right to live and own properties of most Nigerians are being snatched day by day by terrorists, bandits and militants. Why is the US not saying anything about it? Of what importance is gazing to Nigeria now and even in the future? No importance. In fact, it will cause more problems in the future. A Twitter user accused the United States of simply trying to impose their culture on Nigerians. He said it was high time black people unite and act differently to avoid interference by other countries. Some other users rebuked the policy as what goes against the Christian religion. Now, this act by Joe Biden has raised lots of doubts about his new administration. A Twitter user pointed out that Joe Biden knew that the exit of former U.S. President Donald Trump would bring back pressure from the country on African leaders to accept rights. He further said that some persons saw this coming when people were against Donald Trump. And this is just the beginning. More crazy policies to come from Joe Biden. Judging from the reactions so far, Nigeria as a predominantly conservative country, it is unlikely that Nigeria would revisit its anti-gay marriage law to strengthen bilateral relations with the United States. So what do we think will happen next? I want to know your opinion because if Nigeria refused to accept this policy, we stand a chance of financial sanction and a travel ban. And if Nigeria accepts the policy, we stand the chance of losing our respect as a sovereign nation, we stand the chance of losing our culture, heritage and tradition. We also stand the chance to lose what our religion has taught us over the years. So please drop your comment in the comment section below as I wrap up for today. Thanks for watching. My name remains Agbaje Onome. Stay safe. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.